Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 25. If you want to download this work with Business 210 Business Math Chapter 3 or the PDFs that go along with this, click on the link below the video. And on the topic sheets sheet, it just shows you the topics for Chapter 3. We're going to be talking about percentages. Now I want to go over to the sheet entering percents and we're going to start off uh, in Excel and then we'll do some by hand stuff later. Now I want to ask the question what is what is a percent really? Well, if you go back through the history of how percentages were developed, they were developed to represent a certain number of parts out of a hundred. Now most of us know you know a tax rate 10 percent and then for every one dollar they're going to take 10 pennies. Right? So really, um, a percent is a type of fraction. We're just saying how many parts out of 100. Right? So here I have these input numbers. I'm going to make a formula equals 2 divided by 100, 0 0.02. So one of the very first things we'll do in this chapter is we'll take a decimal and see how to officially convert it to a percentage. Now I've already, last chapter was fractions, right? So I've already pre-formatted this if I control 1. I have, uh, should be a question mark, a question mark 100, because I don't want it to ever reduce. I want to show me how many parts out of 100. So when I do equals 2 divided by 100, it better show me 2 compared to 100. So in the old days before percentages, the king would say, give me two sheep for every 100 sheep you have, right? Or maybe it was more like, give me 17 sheep for every 100. All right, now here, are the official rules for doing it by hand, how to go from a decimal to a percent. This is the by hand method. R rule number one, you multiply the decimal by 100 or slide decimal places two, slide decimal two places to the right, then add a percent symbol. So here's what it would look like. Let's do it. I'm going to type the number 0 0.02. And then here I'm going to say equals this times 100. Now, never do this in Excel. This is not how we're going to do it, right? Right off the bat, I have a little note here. You got to notice that our resulting percentage, and you can see it here, is going to be like a symbolic representation of the number 0 0.02. Remember? And really, it's two for two out of a hundred. But watch this. When we do this multiplication, we get a two here. So I'm just noting here this two and this final. And in fact, let's do it. I'm, and I'm going to put a lead apostrophe because I don't want it to show up as a number here. Now I'm just pretending I'm doing it by hand. That lead apostrophe will, will treat it as text. right? So we multiplied by 100 and then added the percent symbol. That's the by hand method. But just note that when you do this, that 2 is different than that original number. So this thing is somewhat different. And the way we say it is it's like a symbolic representation. So every time you see 2%, you think 2 out of 100. If you see the, the tax rate in Seattle is like 9.9%. .9%, so that means out of every 100 pennies, they're going to take 9.9 .9 pennies. Now, in Excel, it's quite easy. You're not going to believe it. In, we have been hanging out for a couple weeks and a couple chapters. You know, a lot of what we do with numbers is about number formatting. So watch this. I'm going to type 0 0.02. Now, I didn't type the lead 0 here, but no problem. When I control enter, it'll show me that lead 0. Now, watch this. I don't ever want you to use this button. I'll show you why and down here. But now I want to apply the percentage number format. So Control-1 is our keyboard shortcut for format cells. Percentage, absolutely beautiful. Now look, that number, 0 0.02, is going to remain in the cell always. Because when you multiply 0 0.02 times 100, we need to get two pennies, right? So this is just going to be our symbolic representation. I'm going to click OK. And that falls in line with what we've been studying in this class. The number format is like the, the Halloween mask. It's what's on top, but what's underneath could be different. Um, so there it is. Totally beautiful. You just apply the number formatting. The 0.02 will display as 2%, but the 
0.02 is still in the cell. Now here's what to be careful of. And in my all my years of teaching, this is the, the question that I've had more than any other from people out there working in the working world. They come along and they know what they want 2%, so they type a 2 in the cell. All right, you're with me so far? Then they're like, woohoo, control 1. Apply percentage, and they're not, they don't bother to look up here at the sample to see that there's some trouble. They just click OK. 200%, and then they're freaking out because when they have, you know, let's say the customer has an invoice, and the total is, um, let's do an easy one, uh, 200. And all I want to do is I want to multiply this 200 times the 2%. Remember, we entered the number 0 0.02 here. And this 200 times this. Remember, this was a mistake. All right, so we'll say I have a tax. And I'm going to put tax 1, Control Enter. Anytime you have a word and a number like that, if you drag it, it'll increment the number. All right, so these two cells, I'm going to do two different calculations. We just want to show ourselves that this is the correct way, this is the incorrect way. All right, equals 200 times 2%. But what is in that cell? It's 0 0.02 or 2 for every 100, right? So when I control enter, it gives me 4. It gave me 2 for every 100, right? There's two 100s. It gave me 2 for each one, so it's 4. Now, what happens here? I say the 200 times the mistake. But what was in that cell? We type the number 2 in this cell. So that 2 is still there. Remember, the formulas don't see what's on top. They look at the number underneath. So what's 2 times 200? It's 400. So the point is, here, when you enter a decimal, you've got to enter it, and then apply the formatting. If you enter a 2, and then the percentage number formatting, you're expecting 2%, you're in for trouble. Now let's prove to ourselves that there's a 0 0.02 here and a 2 here. I'm just going to come right here, 0 0.02, enter, 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 and a 2. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to use this little drop down up here. Now, we don't want to use that one, but you can use boop, and there's a percentage with two decimals there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. <coughs> now, we talked about this earlier in class. If you're having trouble with what you th think you see, or what's displayed in the cell, and you really want to see what's actually in the cell, you what? You can see percentage format here, but how do we get back to the actual number without any formatting? You apply general. So I'm going to apply general. Now there's actually a keyboard shortcut for general. And later, and later in the class, in the invoicing and payroll chapters, we'll have to wipe away number formatting a lot. So the keyboard shortcut is. Now this tilde is right below the escape key, or it's the, below the tilde is an, um, a grave accent. Here's the other thing you might look for. Instead of that, it would be, <clears throat> so here we just went up here, and the, sure, that's a fine way to do it. But if you're doing it a lot, control shift tilde or grave accent. And there you go. Even though we applied the formatting, we can see that 0 0.02 and that 2. So this formula. 200 times that, it took the 0 0.02, which is the correct decimal for the tax. This one said 200 times the incorrect number in the cell, which was 2. Now I do want to show you something about percentage number format and compare it to something we've already learned. We learned how to do currency or accounting. So I'm just going to slap accounting on there. right? Now look at the surface, what is displayed. A dollar sign, 0 .00. So there's a bunch of stuff we see. But if you look up on the formula bar, you can see that 200. Uh, all that stuff's not really in the cell. It's just that 200. But watch this. And this is too bad they didn't um, program this different. When you put 2.00% and you have that number formatting, if you look up here, you see 2%. So you actually don't get to see the number up in the formula bar. That's why I showed you how to wipe away. Anytime you wipe away the number formatting, you can see what's it really in the cell. All right, now one other thing I want to show you, right? Um, I mentioned uh, up here how that is a symbolic representation, 
this is really the number, 0 0.02. Well, I want to create a little formula here. I'm going to create a really ridiculous formula and show you show that same idea from a, a different point of view. I'm going to make a ridiculous formula. Uh, 100 plus 300, close parentheses, times. And how about we do our same percent? I'm going to 2.00%. Okay, so I would never build a formula like this. I would always put these, if these were numbers that can change, I would put them into cells and refer to them. But I want to prove a point here. This is typed into the formula. Now what it's going to do is it's going to do the order of operations. It's going to add get 400. And it looks like it would say 400 times 2%. But that Excel can't deal with 2% because that's a formatted symbolic representation. It actually needs the number. It needs 0 0.02. So I'm going to enter this. I'm going to notice that up in the formula bar, it's still exactly that way. You can see it actually got rid of the decimals. That was smart. I'm going to go up to formula, and there's a great way. We can actually see how Excel evaluates formulas. And we saw this back in the order of operation chapter. Here it is, formulas, auditing group, Evaluate formula. All right, and you can evaluate your formula by hitting evaluate or hitting enter. And the way it works is it will underline what it's about to evaluate. So I'm going to hit enter or evaluate there. All right, so it sees the 400. It's got to get rid of the parentheses. You either click evaluate or enter. Now notice the underline is under the percent because it can't. This is not a number to multiply by 400. So Excel has to evaluate it. And when you click evaluate or enter, it, of course, shows 0 0.02. And in fact, this is the same way your calculator works. The confusion with percentages comes a lot from our calculators. People type a 2, and then they hit the percent key. And they think that 2% is an, uh, you know, the number that that's going to use in the calculation. But when you do that, you see on your screen it says 2%, but then the calculator uses 0 0.02. All right, click Evaluate. So that's a ding, ding, ding. Even there, it's going to say, I can't use that, but I can use 0 0.02. All right. Uh, either click Close or the X or Escape. All right, now we have the last uh, six examples. And we want to see the, all the different situations you can run into in Excel when using percentage number format. Now, the first one, you just type 0 0.02, Control Enter, and you apply your percentage. The mistake you never want to make is if you want 2%, you can't put a 2, because Excel knows how to, for the um, number formatting part of it that it displays, it multiplies by 100, adds the symbol. So when I put a 2, which is a mistake, unless you want 200%. Here we wanted 2%, so that's a mistake. All right, so that's two ways. You can type the numbers in and apply the formatting. There's another way. You can Add format to the cell before you type the numbers in. So watch this. I'm going to highlight both of these. And I'm going to come up here and apply percentage. Now let me escape. Notice that both of these cells have general. All right? But now I'm going to go percentage. Right. If I click there, I see percentage. Click there, I see percentage. Now this is an important thing to see because the thing about pre-formatting the cells is it doesn't matter if you type in a 2 or the 0 0.02. So watch this. Let's type a 2. This is what many people do. They type, and look at that. It's polite. It shows you a percentage symbol which says this cell is pre-formatted. Right? But watch this. <clears throat> because many people enter decimals when they really want a percent, if you type in 0 0.02, that symbol will not pop up. You can always tell it has the number format because of up here, right? But when you hit Enter, they're both 2%. So the key here is if it's pre-formatted, 2 or 0 0.02 will both show 2%. And prove this. Here I typed a 2. Here I typed 0 0.02. If I highlight these and wipe it away with the general format, you could see that, in fact, in both cases, we got the correct number in the cell for 2%. The decimal, and then I apply the percentage. That's the formatted symbolic representation of the number 0 0.02, or 2 out of 100. All right, there's another great trick. If you have just one or two cells, and you don't want to all pre-format them or type the decimals in and then apply the formatting, you can format as you type. Now watch, 2. 
point, and I think I'm going to do 5, 2.5, and then a percentage symbol. When, as soon as you type that percentage symbol, and actually make sure it's general before you start so we can prove this to ourselves, 2.5%. As soon as you put that percentage symbol, Excel knows what you mean. You want it knows you want 0 0.025 as a decimal in the cell, and then this percentage number formatting to show on top. Control Enter, and there it is. You can see now it has percentage. And of course, you could prove it to yourself if you apply the general Control Shift tilde. That numbers are even though we typed a 2.5 because we put the percentage symbol, it knew to put the decimal in the cell. Control Z. Finally, this is like this 200% here. This is what you want to never do. Here's what you never want to do. You type 0 0.025, Control Enter. I see that it's general, but you never want to use this. I don't even know why they put this there, because this is what happens. People are in their office. They have a you know, 2.5 increase for some s next month's budget or something. They come up here, and they click the Percentage button in the Number Group on the Ribbon tab. 3%? That's not what I want. Here's the deal. That is just programmed to show no decimals. E to even show you that this is actually number formatting and that that actual number, 0 0.025, is still in the cell. If you had 100, ooh, ooh, yuck, it, it took that format. I'm going to apply general because that's not what I want. 100, uh, enter, equals this times, remember, the surface it can be different than ones in the cell. This formula is not going to calculate on the number format. It's going to calculate off that 0 0.025. So it will show $2.05 or 2.5. right? And the way to solve this is if you use that button, immediately increase the decimals. All right, that's a little bit about what a percent is, a little bit about by hand, and then a bunch about how we do things in Excel. In our next video, we'll see how to convert decimals to percents, percents to decimals, fractions to percents, and all sorts of great things. All right, see you next video.